Hello YouTube. I had previously recorded a video of my life talking about cerebral palsy, but for some reason it, it, it did not record correctly. The video, the volume did not work. So I thought I would try again today um, and talk more about how cerebral palsy affects me. Um, First off, let me start at the beginning again and say that I was born in 1980. Uh, I was premature, uh, weighing under two pounds. Uh, I was three months early. I was supposed to be born in January. I mean, I was supposed to be born in April, but I was born in January. Um, again, under two pounds. Uh, my lungs were severely underdeveloped um, and I suffered a lock, lack of oxygen um, and uh, after I was born I had to have some time after I had to have two major surgeries one was an intestinal operation called an ileostomy to remove a large portion of my uh, large intestine because they were infected and the other was a heart operation to stop the blood that was backing up from my lungs from my heart into my lungs to repair that issue when i was born doctors did not think i would make it however i did um they didn't think i would make it out of the surgeries that i had but i also made it past that as well um I also, um, after this, I had, um, let's see, after the, all of that, I, I did survive both of those surgeries, and then after that, um, I continued to gain weight and progress, but I didn't meet my developmental milestones like other babies um, when I was supposed to crawl and sit up and do those things. I was not meeting those milestones. So at the age of two, uh, my family took me to the doctor and I was diagnosed with cerebral palsy. The type of cerebral palsy that I have is called spastic diplegia, which means that it mainly affects my lower limbs in my case. Um, it also um, affects my lower limbs in my case, as I said. Um, it affects my balance. It also affects my balance and my coordination. It affects my uh, fine motor skills. Um, my handwriting. You cannot read anything that I write. Um, my. It affects my gross motor skills. I can't do things like ride a bicycle um, because of balance issues and coordination issues. It just. I, it just does not work for me because of the cerebral palsy. Uh, it also, my cerebral palsy also affects my vision um, because of the lack of oxygen in my brain. My eyes, my eyesight is poorer than most people's. Um, however, it is not as bad as some people's as well. Um, I would say my vision is probably about 2040, 2050, somewhere around in there. Um, my eyes also tend to cross um, because of the cerebral palsy as well. Um, let's see. Uh, because of my cerebral palsy, my hands also tend to shake um, some when I go to do um, things that require fine motor skills. Um, and I tend to jerk and I tend to uh, jump and jerk at loud so sudden noises um, because that's part of my cerebral palsy as well. Um, there's a term for that, but I don't remember at this time what that term is. Um, and I also, because of my cerebral palsy, I will just briefly mention, I also have um, muscle spasms. 
in my lat in my back and in my legs. Um, mine do hurt. I've had some people say that theirs do not. Um, however, mine does. Uh, it feels like someone is stabbing me with a sharp knife when they happen. Um, also, beyond those things, um, at the age of 12, I also had orthopedic, a major orthopedic operation. Uh, well, actually, there was about four or five of them uh, combined a piece on each leg. Um, uh, at that time, uh, I had to learn to walk again. I had already had to learn to walk. Uh, and uh, overcome the challenges as an infant of walking and crawling and those type things which were really ch very challenging for me but at this time I also had to learn how to walk again um, because they had to retrain my brain of what to do because I walked so different before the surgery as opposed to after the surgery um, and during the time of the operation after the operation um, that night I did almost die because I had an allergic reaction to the morphine but after the surgery um, and they did revive me and put me in ICU after this however they took me out of ICU and put me back in a regular room um, and then after all of that I was in the hospital for I guess a, I would say about a week um, um, and then they brought me home for a week and then after that I was moved to a rehabilitation program uh, where I, like I said I learned to learn how to walk again and I had intensive physical therapy which really 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 hurt but um, it was really worth it um, because it gave me uh, flexibility and mobility that I didn't have previously so if any parents or anyone who is grown is thinking about having orthopedic operations to help with your cerebral palsy I would say go for it it is worth every bit of it and all the time and commitment that you can put into it is worth it as long as you do commit and you do the therapy and you do what they tell you to do um, it's worth it but uh, uh, cause, because it has it has in my case helped to improve my ability to be able to walk um, longer distances and things like that before the surgery I couldn't um, in fact it was getting to the point where I could barely walk at all um, let's see what else do I want to say uh, but those are the ways that cerebral palsy does affect me but some things that I am able to do um, that many people may not know um, some people can with cerebral palsy can do I can swim um, and I have uh, been doing that since a child and I did enjoy that very much I need to do more of that now because it is good exercise for people with cerebral palsy um, let's see my cerebral palsy does not affect me intellectually I'm currently in school earning my bachelor's degree in psychology um, I pretty much live my life like anyone else so. I like to hang out and have a good time like anyone else and uh, myself as well as every, everyone else with cerebral palsy want to live life and have a good time and mainly we just want to be accepted for who we are which is the purpose of me doing this video in the first place so let people know that we just want to be an accepted like everyone else and loved and appreciated for who we are we are no different than anyone else and that's the way we want to be treated is just like everyone else um, and we don't want to be stared at that's a big no-no with people with cerebral palsy um, if you have questions that's fine ask but do ask just stop and ask because we don't like to be stared at um, we would rather that you ask questions and become educated than to stare but um, that's pretty much it for now I will pick up in the other video talking more about how cerebral palsy affects me and I'll touch in on my school my childhood and my school years and everything that I had to overcome there uh, thank you for watching and if you will please visit my Facebook page at Ashley and Laura's stories excuse me living without limits 
with cerebral palsy, Ashley and Laura's stories, that visit my Facebook page at Living Without Limits with Cerebral Palsy, Ashley and Laura's stories. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day.